this is Tammy and I just want to say welcome to Paper Crafting with Tammy. The video that you're going to see today is part of a hop that is being sponsored by Not Too Shabby Stamps. And this is a giveaway hop, so there is an opportunity for you to enter and win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby shop. So this is an international hop. Um, it is open to anyone. And it's gonna run from August 25th to September 1st. So when you finish watching my video, I want you to take a look in the description box. There you're gonna find a raffle copter link and that is going to allow you to enter the giveaway. There'll also be links in there that will link you to the next videos along the hop so that you can see what all of the different creators have put together for you today. If you like what you see on my channel, I hope that you take a minute to subscribe and hit that big red button. The stamps that I'm going to feature today are two different sets from the Not Too Shabby Shop. So these are what we're going to be playing with. And if you want to check out the shop, it is nottooshabbyshop.com. So I want to create a background. I'm going to be doing a little outdoor scene today. So I'm going to use some scene building stencils and I'm going to use just some post-it tape to help hold things in place. That'll be nice so it doesn't move all over the place while I'm working on it today. So I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and I'm gonna do a little bit of work with the grass. And I'm just using a blending brush and an ink. This one's actually from Close to My Heart. This is Fern. and I'm gonna get a little bit of ink on my brush. I'm gonna do this first layer of grass pretty lightly. So I tend to start with my ink up on the stencil so that as I pull it down, I'm not getting um, any blotchy areas, anything too um, thick on there. And I just use a little gentle circular motion. I'm gonna move my stencil down and offset it a little bit so it's not in exactly the same spot. This time I'm going to apply a little darker just so that grass has a little bit more depth and texture and I don't have to be nearly as careful when I do this darker layer because I want the emphasis at this point and I want it to go on a little thicker, a little bit deeper color just rotating and applying that ink. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab this cloud stencil and I'm just gonna build from the bottom and lightly move my way up to create a sky. And again, I'm going to be really pushing up from the stencil with my ink and just applying a light layer so that it gets that edge right along the clouds. And I don't wanna do this too dark, um, but honestly, however it turns out, it's always really fun and pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. Then when I move up, I'm gonna shift a little and I'm just gonna keep going. And I think I'll do one more layer here at the top and then I'm just with this last layer I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the blue all the way off the paper alrighty so I've got a fun little background now to build with knowing that I'm gonna use it on a card I'm going to make this three and three quarter. And I'm gonna do it by five. Now I can get my stamps out and start deciding how I wanna put this together. I really love this fun branch that's in the You're So Tweet set. And I'm thinking that I wanna bring in the branches maybe up here at the top coming across the card. And then I fell in love with this 
Darling Little Fox. So he is going to be the star of my card, and he is going to be down here in the grass. And I just want to surround him with a few fun little accents. So my plan is to use this fun flower stamp, and I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of those to go around my fun little fox. And then this butterfly too, I just, he's just so sweet. And then I think that butterfly coming up will be a darling addition. The sentiment that comes with this set says, hello. I'm gonna get some ink out and we'll get busy stamping. So I've got some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm just going to create the pieces I'm going to need. So off camera, I did go ahead and emboss the sentiment hello right onto that card front. So I just stamped the word hello using the Versamark watermark stamp pad. And I just stamped it right onto that card front. I used some wow embossing powder and then just used the heat gun to set that. I also colored and cut my pieces for this card. So I'm going to use two of the branches, one butterfly, the four little flowers, and the fox. I colored these using um, the Spectrum Noir Tri Blend markers. So the colors that I used, if you have these and are interested, are the dull green blend, the purple blend, the coral blend, the tan blend, and the earth brown blend. I've got an A2 card base, and then I cut just a little background to go um, underneath this card front and adhere straight to the front of the card. So it just has a little bit of an outline around that card front. To assemble this, I am going to apply adhere something straight to the card and then I'm going to have a couple of things that I pop up with some foam tape. Not Too Shabby does a really great job of creating these scene building stamps. So if you haven't done it yet, take the time to pop on over to their shop and check them out. And remember if you hit that Rafflecopter link in the description, you can enter the drawing for some of these stamps. So how fun is that to get to go and do a little bit of shopping? We all love free stuff. So at the end of the video, I'll show another card that I made using these stamp sets. So just more ideas for you if you're wanting to get busy playing. <music> Here's that first card finished up. I just put a little bit of uh, glitter accent on the butterfly, add some little glittery accents on the leaves. I did some glossy accents on the fox's eyes and on just a couple of the little flower buds. Here's that second project. I did a similar background, but I just did a little bit with the sky stamped some of the leaves coming in from the edges and then I layered a couple on top. The ones I layered on top I did some glossy accents just to bring those out and then I used a gold shimmer brush on those other fall leaves so that just creates kind of a fun look around the edge. But there's another idea for how to use those really fun stamps from Not Too Shabby. Thanks again for watching today. I hope that you guys are doing well and enjoy the rest of the hop. Bye-bye.